So how do you get started quickly, heading in the right direction? Test lots of big ideas. Please don't do what most businesses do, which is to get one ad designed in eight different sizes. Because you're not doing any testing. Yes, you're increasing your range, you're increasing your inventory, you'll get more clicks, but you're not learning anything about the market. I would always start with a 300 by 250 ad. We found the next best three to be those three on the screen. 336 by 280, 160 by 600, and 728 by 90. What I'm gonna suggest though is that you start with 10 300 by 250 ads. Forget the other sizes for now. Job one is to figure out which ads resonate the most with your market. Which ads make you the most money. Then we can go and build the other sizes. What do I mean by big differences? Hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea. Here's eight sample ads of about 12 that we got done for Rick Otten, who many of you will know, big property educator in Australia. Very different ads. Some of them, so this was a campaign to launch his How to Buy a House for a Dollar book, physical book. Some show the book, some don't. <coughs> Bless you. Some have a picture of Rick, most didn't. Now, if the hippo was choosing the ad, guess which one they want to show. But I don't know if that's the ad that's going to get the best response. Then I run a test. Might take four weeks. But very quickly, I can figure out which ad won. And at this point, I'm not looking at profit. I'm just looking at click-through rate, which you normally wouldn't do with Display Network. Click-through rate really doesn't tell you much when the numbers are so low. But because I'm comparing a range of different ads all going to the same site, all I'm looking at here is which ads resonate with my prospects and which don't. And the numbers again and again and again, if you test 10 or a dozen ads, the difference between winner and loser is going to be roughly three, four hundred percent if the differences are big enough. Lee's been very kind. Can I talk about the test we're going to do? Yeah. Lee's been kind enough to agree to a test. Um, 40 Winks use their franchisees as you know, the models in the TVCs and the catalog covers and so on. All we want to test to start with, same design in this instant, but a different franchisee on each of these ads. And we'll run a test of about 12 or so ads that Justin's team's creating. And which of those franchisees appeals most to their average internet user? Is it the older lady, the younger lady, the older guy, the young guy, the bald guy, the funky looking guy with the little goatee and the funky glasses? Who is it? Who's getting the best response? Now they may end up being quite similar because it's the same design of the ad, but until we test, we don't know. Up until this point, someone has picked an ad and it's typically been one or maybe two different designs. Test a lot of different designs and learn early, then figure out who your winner is and now try variations on a theme. Okay, so if, if this ad won, and it didn't, because I'm not going to tell you the one that did, but if this one did, well, okay, let's try variations on the younger chick. Let's get some stock photos and try three or four different people, because maybe that makes a difference. Let's try tweaking the words a little bit. You know, the five little stars in here might have helped. But let's try variations on this theme and test again and see if we can't learn something else. At a minimum, test the 10 different ads first, figure out who the winner is, and now do your different ad sizes. Now go off and pay the money to get this thing animated. But start with the cheap option of static ads with big differences. You'll save an absolute stack, and you'll learn so much about your market. Mm -hmm.